this afternoon, this evening, I'm taking you on the first of the uh, third round at NEXC. Coming through the start, we're here at uh, the Strawberry 100 at Riverfront. So basically here's the first part of the track you come through. Little rock section right here. If you guys have ridden out here before, you guys probably remember that rock section. Hopefully the weather holds off. This is Bill Roar's property. He's the uh, grandfather of uh, youth and micro racer rider Tanning. So this is his property out here. Cattle farmer. So he's nice enough to let everybody come out here and enjoy his property. It's a good track. Got some rocks. So here we're going the first little section. You got the rocks probably here the first quarter of the mile. You can't really see them because they're uh, covered up by uh, covered up by <laughs> leaves. So that should be dusted off tomorrow though with the quads. Still some rocks. Got some bigger rocks right here. I remember this side is kind of rocky. Seth and Ronnie always put out nice tracks out here. They're nice enough, nice enough to give me permission to come out here and uh, spot the track for you guys. Give you a little action. Come right here through these little trees if you want to. It's a little tight. <laughs> Some toilet paper if you guys uh, crap yourself already in the first uh, half mile or so. So this, tra this track can obviously change a lot if we get any rain. Right now we had some darkness come by us, but uh, you can see it's cleared up. Hopefully it stays that way back here is a little black, but hopefully that doesn't come by us. Then we come into this little uh, field section, a little sharp left right here. We come down this little back row. If you guys watched one of my videos from last year, at, uh, two years ago at the riverfront. We raced this, but it was backwards. Drop into this little section. There's a pond up here, I remember. Back into the woods. Still youth and uh, youth, adult, and uh, micros. So we're coming up through here. Nice little wooded section. Not too bad. Got some ruts, got some. Uh, Got some rocks. Nice clean dirt. All right, so we got some arrows pointing. Oh, we got a little, little uphill, it looks like. So, last year we probably went that way. This year, Ronnie and Seth are taking us up the hill. Cool little hill climb and some fresh dirt. cruising probably back down on the old track cutting down haven't hit the first mile yet <laughs> but like I said this is just a ride for you guys check out the track I know these races are hard to get out and ride them and stuff I remember this section right here little rock rock right there Seth you need to move that rock always hit it <laughs> This section, I remember you come across a little, oh, you got it filled in now. I remember last two years ago, this got kind of muddy right through here. So, but like I said, this could all change. We're hitting the first mile. I think the track is uh, nine to 10 miles long. So if you guys enjoy this, maybe we can start doing this uh, every Friday evening. And, uh, a little jack creepy going. All right, last time I think we went over that way, so now we're cutting across. Probably looks like a new little section right here. All right, so we're going into the little bit of the woods right here. Come on, Bill, you got a lot of rocks out here. 
beautiful property though. I'd love to have some property. Oh, birdie. <laughs> so this looks like maybe a new little section. It's hard to remember every race you race, but trees, tight. some rocks, a little rock section right here. Pick your lines, pick your lines. Quads, it's hard to, you just got to go over them. Might be a little line out here you can take. That's what's nice about this property, it's kind of wide open. Um, it's fast, it's got a lot of uh, field sections. Well, it did have a lot of field sections, what I remember. But, uh, we'll see. So now we're back into the woods. Uh oh, a little dry mud. Just a little low spot that could probably get nasty. Like I said, this, this track can totally change. It sucks for these guys. They go up and set up a nice track and then, you know, something happens. So there's the turnoff for uh, the micros, but I'm gonna head up this way for the, uh, the youth and the adults. We'll come up here and make a switch. A little uphill, nothing bad. A little hairpin turn. No, not really hairpin. And then around the trees. Oh yeah, the jump. I forgot, right here's pretty cool. They, a lot of times they'll take pictures right here. You can come, hit this little uphill right here, make a little jump. Oh. Alright, so where are we going? A little S turn to the gates. Be careful. Then I remember we run down the back side of the property now on this side. Man, if we do get a rain, maybe just a little bit because it's going to probably be dusty. But, man, this track is really nice. I hope it stays this way. Like I said, these guys at NEXC put out really nice tracks. If nobody's raced them, you gotta come out and check them out. Fair for everybody, but like I said, when the weather comes, you know, <laughs> they can't do anything about it. So we got a little downhill right here. Like I said, it's black out there, but hopefully it, uh, it passes by us and I can get a full lap in here. But I'm gonna try and get you as much as I can, so. Switch back. Nice little cow field. Like I said, this is uh, Bill Roar. Uh, he does uh, cattle farming, and uh, this is his property. Rider Tanny's a quad rider in the youth and AM. Really good rider. Well, shit, my grandfather had land like this. I'd be a freaking Bryson Neal, Walker Fowler, Stu Baylor. Maybe not. Ooh, squirrel. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, the tree, uh, the uh, leaves are coming back in, which makes it look a lot beautiful here in West Virginia. So, which is a plus. That's one thing nice about West Virginia is uh, we have beautiful, beautiful scenery. Beautiful country. Ooh, that was a nice little, I like that little section right there. Set. Right, that was cool. I like those little roller coaster kind of little sections and stuff. Those are fun. Danger! Here we got a little sweeping up a little tiny hill. I got another squirrel, man. Should be squirrel hunting out here. I've eaten squirrel one time in my life. It was greasy. Didn't like it very much. All right, so we got a little uphill right here, kind of through the uh, kind of through the side of the field. A little transition area. Well, uh, like I said, if you can see right now, this this track's gonna be just perfect this weekend. A little dusty, but uh, after all the mud races we've had, nationals and locals, we're due for some dusty, <laughs> dusty tracks. So. 
And I'm not much of a mud guy. Yeah, that's a beautiful property out here. I haven't even seen a second mile mark yet. I'm just cruising, putting, taking my time, enjoying the nice Friday evening before I'm passing by. I still see sun. It's a good sign. Just coming out doing a uh, a Friday evening spot check on the track for you guys. That's what I do, that's how I bring it. I thought of you guys, so that's why I brought it up to Ronnie and then they talked to everybody. Ooh, boom. And, um, you know, I thought it was good. Ooh, tips, don't forget to tip right there. You'll be here until Thursday. <laughs> All right, so here we come into, oh, I remember this section up on the ridge top. That's a fun little section. I think we'll go out and uh, maybe a little hairpin and come back along this fence line. Some of this I'll probably fast forward, you know, kind of just hit the highlighted spots. Uh, a lot of these tracks, obviously, we have to ride some, a lot of the same, same trails, you know. It's kind of hard on some of this property to start making new trails and things. We're just lucky enough to get, uh, you know, 13, 12, 13 pieces of property just to race at to get different tracks for you guys. And if you notice, that was the first two miles. You guys remember, this is that kind of that up on that ridge top. We used to come up through the field over there. Now Seth kind of took us on a little path. So there's a lot of new little things here. Ooh, tip up. Little things here. Uh, I think we used to turn last time this way. So this looks to be maybe a new little section. Yeah, man, if you had this property, how could you not come up here and ride? Like every day, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so we're still on the youth and uh, adult track. Getting back into some rocks. I remember, uh, we might have raced, we might have rode this section before. A lot of times, like I said, these tracks just get so so integrated to each other it's hard to tell you know <coughs> which track you've been on which track you're riding you know you pick out your favorite tracks and but like I said it's just weather it just sucks that these guys make these really nice tracks spend all week out here and then Friday or Saturday rain comes and it just you know basically destroys it I know a lot of people like ride a little uphill right here Nothing too strenuous. Looks like it's carrying up, carrying back up. But it just puts a lot more work in for Seth and all the crew guys. You know, they're out here trying to keep everybody safe, and then all of a sudden, you know, 30 bikes are just stuck in a mud hole. And it just, you know, parents and everybody try to help too, but it just gets so chaotic. And here, being in West Virginia, you know, about every day you can have about 30% chance of rain. All right, so we get back up to the top of the hill, and then a nice little section coming down. Another squirrel, another big gray squirrel, man. Nice squirrel. Okay, and then a little off camber turn right there to go up the hill. This might be a new section or just graded. Um, Like I said, I really enjoy riding when they're dry. <laughs> I really enjoy riding uh, these tracks these guys put up. Okay, yeah, this is top of the ridge taking you back. They're fair for everybody, you know. And I know, you know, you can make tougher tracks if you wanted to and stuff like that, but that's not what this is. These tracks are kind of built more like uh, and, uh, GNCC national tracks, you know. <laughs> and like I said, it just depends on the property. Some properties uh, a lot bigger where you can make longer straightaways. Some properties not as big, you know, and you got to do some tight sections, a lot of turns. But you get what you get, you know, you go look at it and 
we're creating out a bunch of trails. Like last weekend, man, that was a hell of a track. That was a great job, man. I loved that track last weekend. Or uh, not last weekend, but uh, Miller's Mountain, I think was the last one. I love that. And uh, like I said, I, I like this track. I go back and look at my videotapes and uh, I start watching it. I'm not cussing a lot on them. I know I'm having a good time. <laughs> All right, we got a little uh, downhill sweeper to the right. Another squirrel, my God. Squirrels are out today. That's a nice little fun downhill. Little sweeper back down to the road. Whoa. No, oh, I'm in tennis shoes. <laughs> T-shirt, helmet. I'm not out here to race or run. I'm just out here to show you guys get some footage of the track for you. Then NEXC was so nice enough to let me come out here and show you guys a little preview of the track. Maybe it'll keep some of you guys safe. <laughs> but if you guys like it, comment, thumbs up. Thumbs up is okay on Facebook, but hit more thumbs up on my uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe. Watch that tree right there. Bikes, guys, probably only. All right, so we are uh, probably should be getting close to the... Oh, uh, there's the three mile mark. I was thinking we are getting close. As slow as I'm going. Oh, this looks pretty cool. A little downhill. Look, like I said, these are what I like right here. Just a little downhill. Uphill stuff. That was cool. Uh-oh. Got a little creek crossing. This is cool. Pretty. And then, uh... Then it looks like we got either, uh, several choices right here. So you come out of that creek right there, you got, uh, three choices it looks like. Up this middle one. You got one that comes out over here, and then you got a one on the inside. So right after the three mile mark, you guys hit a creek, and you got a little split action. If you need to pass. Remember at the three mile mark, you got a good chance to pass right there. Alright, so up a little uh, uphill. racing too it's so hard not to look around at some of these places we race at these new places you know it's pretty awesome let me look back there it's back. all right so this is probably one of the longest i've talked forever i'll probably lose my voice probably other people will say nah we've heard you talk longer but uh you caught me in a good mood it's racing weekend can't beat that well hell every week weekend's racing what weekend all right, so this was kind of like a little uphill, downhill, little, little uh, cool thing. I like it. Looks like he's, uh, well, like I said, I'm only in the three mile mark. The wind's starting to pick up. Just a little off cambered a little bit. Not much. On the bike's not a big deal. Quads, a little bit. All right, so uh, still cruising. So, uh, not sure where I'm at. Alright, so now we're into a field section. Looks like he's done so far to keep us out of a lot of the fields, which is cool. I like fields. Uh, it gives you a chance to kind of uh, relax. Uh-oh. Looks like we may have an uphill right here. Got a couple lines you can take right here. A little inside route, outside. Good passing zone. See, look at that, this is just beautiful. Beautiful green grass in here. All right, we're still going up. Looks like a little switchback. Or... All right, straight up and a hard right. Cool deal, cool looking on the, uh, on the fence. I like it. Alright, 
right, so we're at the top of the ridge. Gotta go through some fields. There we go. Alright, so now we're in probably one of our longer field sections. Which is all good. Especially if it's muddy. Good chance to uh, get mud and stuff off the tires. Get yourself in the fresh, fresh grass. But it looks like that storm may be passing, so I might be able to get you guys a full lap. Alright, so back into the woods. Here we go. Used quads will have this all packed down in the adult quads for us. Sunday. Look at my guys. <laughs> I remember this cool little section right here. Top of the ridge, another square. Holy shit. Alright, so normally, oh, another squirrel down there. So uh, obviously, uh, he uses this property, it looks like, for uh, cattle. Like I said, he's a cattle farmer. He's got maybe three, four pieces of land. I don't know. Ooh, nice little jump. Oh, back up a hill. Oh, no, no. Where are we going? Oh, we're going left. New section, it looks like. New sections are always good. Oh. A little off camber. Four mile mark. I forget what it was. Nine miles, maybe? Ten miles? All right, so we got some rocks and some roots right after the four mile mark. A little left hand turn. You look back at see who's coming. More rocks. So if you guys enjoy the rocks, well, I bet it's not, I tell you what, it's not going to be as bad as, uh, well, what was the other track that we just did? Nose Mountain. That was a good rock section there. They got, that's a long one, but uh, no, this track's pretty smooth. It's got some rock sections, like I said, but nothing's gonna kill you. What I've seen so far. If I can handle it, you can handle it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like uh, youth and micro, or uh, micros jump back on this section. shot across the field beautiful shaded out in these woods like this you see a 
black snake or something cruising by. Probably new stuff, which is cool. Way to go, guys. This looks pretty cool. Little downhiller. Got some rocks. Still more downhill. Now, when I say downhill, it's not like steep downhill. Um, but when I watch my videos and stuff, it does not capture even what some of these hills are, the stuff that we ride. Like if you would come out here and actually watch it. This is, I mean, throwing around an ATV, a dirt bike for two hours, three hours, I mean, you know, you could go out and just travel ride. I could do this for, you know, all day if I wanted to. But to really go out and, you know, make some noise, you know, that's tough. Stu Bailey and those guys, they're just animals, man. I mean, even Bryson Neal, Walker Fowler, you know, all those guys on quads, they're just, you know, it's amazing. It's the reaction time and stuff when, when you see them come by and as close as I get to them, you know, and I just imagine the speeds are going ahead if they hit something. All right, so that was a little rocky section right there. Little rocks. All right, so now uh, after that section, we go up a hill. I'd like to see where the hell I'm at. uphill right here. Alright, and then right up the top of that hill we make a hard right. And then back into the woods. Nice. Now let's see, okay, so this will be a hard left I guess right here for us. seen the five mile all right so we come down here make a little uh little s turn all right so we come here and then uh drop down here so that's why it's a lot of times good to come out and check out the track and uh like i said it's hard for oh here's the uh here's the uh pond a lot of times we go up that hill right there. So it's gonna take us out around the pond, just right after the five mile mark. A little rocky uphill.
we're hitting about the five mile, just past the five mile mark, and uh, we're in this little field section. Got some cows over there, or uh, horses. <laughs> so here's probably one of the biggest field section that we're gonna be hitting. It looks like. Chance to uh, get your tires cleaned up. slow, I'm not ready to slide out. But obviously being a cattle farmer, or a cattle ranch, oh, look at the sky back there. That missed us, so that rain looks like it's by past us. But they are calling for more rain later, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but obviously, being a cattle farmer, obviously you have to have probably a lot more uh, percentage-wise of fields than you do uh, trees, forest-wise. But I'm sure cows like to go in the forest. I mean, you see them in there, cow dung all over the place. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see, where am I going? All right, Red, uh, we're staying with the dogs. We're going this way. farmer so uh, I'm not sure what when you have cows what percentage wise or just have all fields but all right so it looks like we do a little hairpin turn right here <coughs> finish was back over there if you saw it it looks like we're going into a little downhill One big attraction this year is uh, the barn, which is towards the end. So, Seth told me to make sure I sit down on a bike. <laughs> Got a little switchbacks down the hill. The only mud I've seen so far right there. This could get uh, a little dicey. Like I said, we're praying the rain stays off. Alright, so uh, let's see. Come down here. Don't smack it into that big log bump off it but don't go straight into it don't forget tomorrow I'll be out here filming the quads filming the bikes on Sunday maybe ride on Sunday I don't know just gotta see how I feel alright so now we're running over the uh, probably the front side of the property basically kind of start off in the back side of the property so oh we're going through that barn over there I see okay a little water muddy section could get yeah I always like the side over here it's a pretty good side On the uh, six mile marker. Coming up on the six. Alright, so we're back into the wood. Uh, just maybe a little transition spot.
come around the fence. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you guys like this and, uh, you know, we get maybe more, more of these on Friday evenings. and Ronnie, these guys who ever made this track, man, it's just, if it does rain, just enough to keep the dust off, but otherwise, yeah, this is going to be a fun track, quads and bikes, a little uphill, that was cool, a little roller coaster section, pretty back in this area, I'm doing more of a sightseeing tour, <laughs> There's squirrels, there's a chipmunk. Alright, so Let's see where we're going. Alright. Uh, definitely cooled off a little bit. It's a plus. Alright, so down arrows mean hard right. Downhill. Alright, so good little downhill right here. Sharp left hand turn. But it's flowy. It's not sharp as a real hard campus. Come down off the hillside, make a nice little flowy turn. Not into a field section. Wherever I'm going. Not sure how much property Bill's got. Let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is a cool little section. You ride down by the creek. It's got some water to it. Cool little spot. Glad he kept some of these in here. Now, like I said, this could all change, but... Still, it gives you an idea of what uh, you're going to be in for tomorrow, Saturday, and, uh, and uh, Sunday. Especially tomorrow, May the 4th be with you, right? Alright, so now, ooh, a little muddy section. You gotta have, you can't have everything that's perfect, you know? I mean, this is cross country racing, you gotta have some, you know, a little bit of stuff. Now, this track is gonna totally look different by the time, you know, Mike's gone and everything else. But, Even for just being like it is right now, it's just it's just smooth, it's nice. Nice soil. Good texture. Good texture. I like it. Alright, so we got a little uphill. Track preview. Alright, so we got a little uh, water mud right here. 
Uh oh, should I go through the middle? Should I go over here? Oh, not too bad right now. But when you get about 80 bikes going through there and stuff, that will definitely change. It changes the persona of the mud. Uphill. Up the hillside. into the open field. the wood section a little transition there's a couple Ooh, be careful here it's tight a bunch of little lines right through there these trees sneak up on you sometimes all right where am I going all right Right here. 
something around here. I, I think it goes down through a little, little creek. <laughs> yeah. Right here. This got kind of nasty a couple years ago. Open it up, clean those tires off, get ready for the next little section up in here. Come in here, make a little right, jump into the woods. A little dangerous, danger zone. Back in. Mm -hmm. Little jump right there. Oh, this is nice. Nice dirt. transition whoa easy big dog easy big dog and just coming through here looks like in the nowhere man zone and then down the hill that's about eight and a half eight So I've set the barns at the end, so I should be getting up through that, getting up close soon. And right there, with the rain coming, just in time to hit the barn. It's good, maybe the only dry section we have. <laughs> so, like I said, make sure uh, Seth said, make sure you guys duck coming into this thing. We don't want any decapitations out here. Especially on the bikes, you know. So obviously you're going to come in here and you're going to make a left-hand turn. So yeah, you're going to come in here and make a lefty. Oh, that's a long barn run. Watch your head. Coming through here. Had her. Whoop. Oh, this is cool. This is real nice. A lot bigger than uh, GNCCs, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a little fun added thing right there. So there you guys go. You got a little uh, little barn. Just don't mess up. All right, so then we're into an uphill after the barn. This will probably carry you back towards the finish. Let me know. I don't mind coming out here and doing this for you guys. I know a lot of people got to work and 
stuff. They don't have vacation days to come out like they do with nationals and ride every day. So. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Some uh, people already out here camping already, getting ready for tomorrow's race. All snuggling, a lot of bike guys already, some four wheelers. But everybody's out, getting excited for this weekend. There they are, Scots are all ready. But we're gonna be out here, and uh, like I said, this is uh, so that was just a little bit over nine miles, and then you come up to the finish. And then I'll take you guys back down through the finish area. Look at those nice horses. Remember, when you come up in here to the orange cone, no passing zone. Hey, look at those pretty ponies over there. And here's the scoring zone that they'll have. So you come through the scoring zone. And there's Ronnie Hart at work. <laughs> Hoping it doesn't rain. <laughs> A little bit. Awesome track. And then you'll come out of the scoring zone and then uh, come down through this way, it looks like. But yeah, he says we need the rain, but you can see it back over in here, the sunny sky, you know, real nice skies back here. So we should just be finishing off, coming back down towards the start. I know where I'm going. Casual Friday evening stroll around, giving you guys the best, the best stuff can imagine out of here. <laughs> so then, and then we got that steep downhill to the finish. Unless he takes us up through the woods and stuff, otherwise that's pretty much the whole track. It's downhill. Just be careful. Don't hurt yourself this weekend. Like I said, more racing to come. So if you guys like what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. It helps the channel, it helps grow our sport. So, so you come off that hill, right around here, and then you do it all over again. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you want to see more of these, just let me know. I'll be glad to do them for you guys. So thanks Ronnie, thanks Seth, thanks NEXC crew, everybody, Jennifer. Uh, appreciate you letting me come out here. And hope everybody has a good weekend racing.